Hi and welcome to this brief tutorial on how to to create something that uh, gives the appearance of a global illumination effect in 3D Studio Max. Okay, so let me show you the result after having rendered three spheres on a plane using the standard 3D Studio Max lighting. And then after applying my effect it will look something like this. So let's get started. I'm going to reset this scene and start from scratch. Okay, so here's a, a brand new scene. And the first thing we're going to do is to draw out a plane. We're going to go over here um, to the creation menu and uh, select plane. Draw one out in the top view. I'm going to modify this. Give it a size of say 5000 by 5000. And then I'm going to add a sphere also in the top view. I'm going to move this so it c comes above uh, the plane. And I'm also going to bump this up to 64 segments, give it a nicer, smoother look. And then I'm going to copy this, say uh, one over here, and um, one over here. I'm going to take this down in size, to say 40, and also place it on the top of the plane. Um, something like this, and then I'm just going to find the view that I want. Something like this. Okay, <clears throat> so now I'm going to apply some material. If I render now, I'm just going to set this to 800 by 600. You will get uh, something like this. Now there's a, a black uh, background and um, it's very unnatural, the lighting, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to my render menu and environment and I want to set this to bright white. Okay. And the second thing I'll do is go over to my creation menu and add some light. This is going to be the skylight and I'm going to place it in, our, in my top viewport anywhere. It doesn't matter where. I'm going to modify this light. I'm going to modify the sky color. Uh, it's currently set to a very slight blue color. I'm going to drag this all the way down so it gets bright white. And now if I render, you'll notice that, uh, well, everything got way too bright, right? So what you need to do after having inserted the skylight is go over to the rendering menu again, go to advanced lighting and light tracer. Now you have activated the light tracer. So now let's take a look at the result. And there you go. You have the illusion of uh, global illumination. Now if you notice, this isn't very good. There's a lot of noise on the spheres and in the shadow area. So we're going to fix that by taking the rays per sample up to say 750 and the filter size to 1.5 and the initial sample spacing to 4x4. Four four. Um, the reason why I set these values is because I'm rendering an 800 by 600 image. If I were wanted to render a 3000 by 2000 image, a high res image, these settings would have to be 
uh, a lot higher. If we render now, you will see that the noise is gone, but at the expense of uh, rendering time. It takes uh, a lot longer now to render. So this is a very uh, heavy process for the computer. But, uh, but as you can see, it gives uh, very good results. Now all the noise and the shadows are gone, and it looks very realistic. Um, okay, so now, where did the highlights go? Well, by using this uh, method, uh, it doesn't take into, into account the, uh, the highlights. So to get highlights, you will have to add another light. I'm just going to pick an Omni light here, place it somewhere in the scene. And let's take it up a little bit. I'll place it somewhere like there. Now if I render, it will get very bright and also a lot of the shadow will disappear. So what you need to do, as you can see, the shadow is gone and it's way, way too bright. So we are going to go over to the modifier again to modify the light we just inserted and the intensity we're going to take down the intensity to say um, 0.35 and in the exclude we will exclude the plane okay now let's try to render again it has gotten a little darker and also the uh, the shadow on the ground on the plane has returned. That's because we excluded the plane. So now we have highlights on these, but as you can see, it's way too bright on the on the white one. So what I can do about that is I'm just going to. up the gray a little bit, like so. Now I'm just going to do a region uh, render because then it won't take so much time to render. Okay. See we got it a little darker but still it's way too bright. So you can just experiment with that a little bit. A third alternative is to uh, exclude this white from the um, from the light. So let's exclude sphere 2. And now we need to go back and take down the gray a little bit again. And we'll render. Let's see how that looks. And so that concludes my uh, brief tutorial on how to to make uh, a global illumination effect in 3D Studio Max.